Hi, first graders. All right, I've got two books to read to you this week, and they both are about a little girl named Stina and the adventures that she goes on. Now, let me take a sneak peek with you with our first book about Stina. It's called Stina. That's her right there on the front cover. It was written and illustrated by Lena Anderson. And we could take a look at the back cover to see what we notice. Oh yeah, it's a little girl. Looks like there's a storm. She's got her rain gear on. And if we read the front flap to get a little bit more information, we'd learn this. It says, every summer when Stina visited her grandfather, she collected the treasures that the sea delivered. There were feathers, sea glass, smooth sticks, wonderful things, but nothing was as wonderful or as useful as the present the huge storm sent her. All right, let's find out about Stina's adventure. Here we go. Stina. Every summer, Stina visited her grandfather in his house by the sea. And every summer she went treasure hunting. Smooth sticks, sea glass, feathers, there was so much to be found. Oh, I like that right there. A feather tied to a stick. Stina and her grandfather always got up early in the morning. Grandpa liked to drink his coffee outside. On calm mornings, the sea was so shiny, it looked as if it had just been painted. After breakfast, they went out in Grandpa's boat to check the nets. Sometimes the nets were full of fish. Sometimes there was nothing but a bit of seaweed. We did well today, said Grandpa as he hung up the net. One turbot, two perch, and four flounders. He's talking about fish. I'm doing well too, Stina said who had just found a fine seagull feather. Grandpa kept some of the fish they caught in a net in the water. And every evening, Stina pulled it out of the water and chose a fish for dinner. It was always delicious. Oh my goodness, these seagulls right here, they remind me of the seagulls at school. They're looking for food too. After dinner, Grandpa made himself a pot of coffee. Sometimes Stina washed the dishes as a surprise. In the evening, they listened to the weather report on the radio. One night, there was a storm warning. Did you hear that, Stina? Asked Grandpa. We're in for a real blow. When Grandpa came to kiss Stina goodnight, her bed was empty. He rushed out of the house calling, Stina, Stina. Grandpa found Stina sitting on a rock, crying. I came out to see the storm, she said, but I don't like it. Grandpa picked her up and hugged her. 
Dear child, he said, this is no way to see a storm. You're soaking wet, and so am I. Let's go inside and start all over again. If you're going to go out in a storm, there should be at least two of you, said Grandpa. And you should be properly dressed. Let's go. Grandpa and Stina watched the rain beating down and the waves breaking on the rocks. I like it better now, said Stina. And look what the storm has brought me. When I go home, may I take the storm's present with me, Grandpa? Asked Stina. I don't see why not, said Grandpa. And that's exactly what she did. She turned that wooden crate into a special place for all her treasures she collected. I think that's so cool. And that is the end. I like this book about Stina's adventure because I think it's really fun to have a special place that's all your own where you get to keep your little treasures. And it was really fun how the storm washed that wooden box up and then Stina used it for just that purpose. All right, I'm gonna read you another book about Stina and another adventure she goes on next time. Bye first grade.